I shot a video for Polar that you're never going to see. But in that, I talk about how I'd been wanting to read Polar for years, but didn't buy it until Netflix started making a movie. And even then, I still didn't read it until just recently. And I loved it, immediately bought volumes two through four, shot a video, talked about the art, I was telling that story, and I get to the editing, realized that at no point did I talk about the story. So, volume one stars the Black Kaiser, and there is a team sent to kill him. He kills them, and then goes after the people that sent that team. It's very straightforward, there's minimal dialogue. It is, um, the art, I'm gonna say, is Frank Miller-esque, old school. So you get a lot of silhouettes. You get some just brutality as far as the fights go. And this whole volume is just three colors of black, white, and red. Like I said, I read this and then immediately bought volumes two through four. It was at that point that I realized I should just do a video for the whole series because the first video was unusable without talking about the story. Volume two, this is Christy. It stars her, however, she is left for dead. It says that right on the back. Left for dead. And she meets up with the Black Kaiser. He trains her and then she gets her revenge on the people that left her for dead. This is the same color scheme of black, white, and red. However, the story is much deeper. There's far more dialogue. There's more to kind of sink your teeth into here. This is excellent. It's the same sort of level of brutality as far as the fights go. And there are many. So there are many fights. Excellent. Volume three has an even deeper story. There's a man looking for a woman, and there is many people looking for the reward money from that man. So they all sort of converge. There's gunfights, fist fights. It's fantastic, it's glorious. However, the color palette in this one expands, so there are more flashes of colors. And it happens before this, but really I got to the stained glass window and I'm like, oh, this is, this is very good. And there's another example of the art. The art, as always, is outstanding, but the, the writing is now up to a level where it matches the art. It works together perfectly. Volume four, The Kaiser Falls. This feels more like a modern era Clint Eastwood movie. Old man with a past, has a sort of Liam Neeson style set of skills, and he goes to work. It's a somewhat everyday tale that is enhanced by this guy who is hunting him. He's the young guy looking to take down the legend. I think this is the most emotional of the three. It feels like it's the most personal, the most, I'd say, intimate of the three, of the four. I'll say it concludes the series, but it easily could keep going with a different set of characters. This also has Black Kaiser. He him and Christy are also in volume three, but as far as the, the world goes, the style goes, I mean, uh, really anything Victor Santos does at this point, I'm gonna check out because he is a phenomenal writer and artist. There is a volume zero as well, and this will show you how my brain works, but so all of these are in landscape format. You can see that here. And volume zero for some reason is in portrait and I chose not to get that. Maybe this is my mistake, but I chose not to get that just because it wouldn't line up right with the rest of the volumes on the shelf. And maybe that's to my detriment. I don't know, but this is a fantastic series. The movie's okay. Uh, I, I have no complaints against it, but I think volume one is the weakest of the four. It so that's a very good tone, but it sort of feels like an artist's first attempt at writing their own story. I don't know if that's literally true in Santos' case, but he develops much better as a writer as the series goes. It is, I, I've said it multiple times, it's just the highest praise I can get for this and highest possible recommendation.
If you're into the sort of stylized Kill Bill crime revenge stories, this, I, I, I couldn't recommend a better story for you. This is a fantastic read, it's gorgeous, and I recommend it.